Kyler, I know you and Evan Bouchard are, are pretty tight. Um, how, uh, how much uh, ribbon do you give him after he bombs one at you like that? Yeah, I'm not going to say we're, uh, we're on good terms right now. Nah, joking. Uh, no, we're on good terms right now. Um, it's a tough play. I mean, it sucks it hit me, but, uh, I mean, he's trying to shoot, he's trying to score, so can't get mad at him for that. Now, was it just a stinger? Because you went off barely any weight, hopping, like, you know, it looked like maybe it might have broken a bone. How, how did you feel right away, and then uh, what made it allow you to come back? Uh, I mean, anytime you take one of Boucher's shots, it uh, doesn't feel good. So, I mean, I went off, um, you know, came back, but, you know, it's, it's a little sore, but, um, you know, nothing you can't play through. Your team's on, on a pretty good roll here um, ever since Jay Woodcroft took over. You know, both offense, the, the defense has reduced goals significantly, but the offense is actually up, you know, over half a goal a game. Work. What's been the addition offensively that you believe has helped you guys? Well, what's been the tweak that's allowed you to score more goals, specifically five on five? Mm, a lot of things. Um, I think the main thing, um, I think we're just getting to the net more now. Um, you know, we're playing with more confidence, um, you know, getting to those hard areas and, um, you know, finding ways to score those goals now. Was that a message that Jay brought up and showed video and said, hey, guys, this is something we have to do? Because um, you've always been someone who's not afraid to go there, but going to the net is more of a mindset than anything else, just being willing to want to do it. So what created the change? Um, I mean, when he first came in, um, you know, he really harped on it in video, um, you know, saying we need to get guys to the net, um, you know, we need to get more screens, uh, slash screens, um, you know, kind of just get into the hard areas, um, you know, because that's where the puck's going to end up um, eventually. So, um, you know, he really harped on that when he first came in. Um, you know, I think it's starting to click in now. A lot of teams, you know, when they get tired, the philosophy is to dump it in and change. Um, when you're playing against Mike Smith and you dump it in, you might not have that time to change. When you're on the ice and you see a team dumping it in, do you think differently when Mike Smith's in net, like, I need to be ready here? Absolutely. Um, Smitty's probably one of the best puck handlers um, I think I've ever seen in the National Hockey League. Um, the way he can get out of his net, corral a puck, and then just sling it up the ice, um, you know, it's pretty phenomenal. And that definitely think it has teams guessing, um, you know, whether he's going to hold on to it or sling it up the ice. Maybe speak to how ready you need to stay because there's no point between his crease and the far blue line that he can't go tape to tape, it seems. I mean, just look at the pass he gave Davo. Um, you know, an overtime caught it, put it right down, and then gave him a breakaway, um, you know, for the game-winning goals. So I think you always need to be ready, um, you know, when he's in the net. And, um, yeah. You... Um... I guess I'd ask how much you're enjoying this time of year. Like, remember two years ago, we had the bubble, mm -hmm. and there was no stretch run. And last year was the Canadian division, and it was, by now, you played the same team like eight times in a row. Uh, this is a normal playoff stretch run. Uh, what's it like? You join it. I'm really enjoying it. Um, like you said, um, last year we played all the same teams for, I don't know how many games, eight or six games. So, um, you know, by the end of the season, it started to get a little bit tougher. Um, you know, but this year we go, go back to normal. Um, it's been a lot of fun, um, especially now. Um, you know, we got six games remaining, and, um, and I feel like we haven't played in front of Edmonton fans in a while, um, you know, for playoffs. So super excited, uh, you know, to feel how that is, and, um, you know, just excited to get things going. You guys are on the sort of upper edge of the playoff thing. you still got to win games, but it's not desperation every night like some teams. I don't know if you're watching the other games, uh, how do you feel about your position? Is it, you know, is it, is there's still some desperation, but you guys, it's not life or death every night. I think we feel comfortable, um, you know, but every game we take every game, um, you know, the same. Um, you know, we want to win every game. Um, you know, we're going to put that desperation in the game. Um, you don't want to get lax days, go right before playoffs and then let that creep in your game. So I think we're taking every game, um, you know, very seriously and um, we're going to do that until the end of the year. Kyler, do you enjoy getting under the skin of some opposing players. It looks like Rantanen doesn't like you much, and he outweighs you by about 50 pounds and is about five inches taller. Do you enjoy that? Um, I do, honestly. Um, you know, being able to get under somebody's skin um, just shows that, um, you know, maybe they're off their game a little bit. Um, you know, maybe they're not thinking about the game as much. Maybe they won't see as many plays. So, you know, I enjoy that part of the game, and, um, you know, I'm going to keep trying to do that. What were you thinking when the Kaprasov thing, when you kind of got into it with him and, and uh, Evander came over. Oh, I mean, 
you could have taken Kaprasov anyway, right? <laughs> I don't know. I, maybe, maybe not. Um, you know, but it was uh, it was pretty fun. Um, you know, I enjoyed that part of the game, like I said. Um, and you know, I have Kaner come in there and you know help me out. Um, and I show he's a good team guy and um, appreciate it. Thank you. Some guys play that role because that's who they are off the ice too. Teammates would describe him as, yeah, that's the way he is all the time. <laughs> yeah. You? Uh, me? You like that off the ice. Would your teammates say you're under guy's skin for fun? Uh, maybe some guys, but no, probably not all of them. Um, you're not messing with McDavid or Dreisaitl or? Uh, maybe a couple of times, but uh, let them do their thing. Um, you know, I don't want to screw them up too much.